<clears throat> Thomas, get off your phone. I'm posting it. Instagram. Hashtag dad boys. Also, when you lean forward, you, you cut yourself off even more. Actually, I, just I sit over in the a, corner. I am half a person. <laughs> ah! Welcome to Insomniac Live. <clears throat> this is Play Live Month, if you are new to joining us. Um, which means you go to insomniac.game slash play live, and you watch from there, and you donate from there. And if you donate at least a dollar, you get entered to win cool stuff, like this art book, signed by the team. By John. And, no, uh, but specifically by John. Only Thomas and... Or... Sign it. Or any number <laughs> of other prizes, like this stuff. Whoa! DX oh, Racer. No. We got DX Racer going out at the end of the month. Look at that uh, chair. For, for people. That shirt's bigger than us. <laughs> <laughs> or the There's art a... book is huge. It's so a... go to yeah. insom.game slash play live. <laughs> you can't see it art from, from bigger this. Than a building. You can't see it from this angle, but there is literally a like tiny thing on there that says not to scale. <laughs> oh, okay. Just for people like you. <laughs> yes, John. Uh, I'm one of those. Anyway. Hello, Alessandro. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, so today we're playing Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus, which yes. almost everyone on this couch worked on except for one. You. You. <laughs> the face. You. What are you talking about? It was you. <laughs> Please. Please. Uh, anyway, Thomas has never played the game, so this is going to be interesting for he, him. Is he going to be playing? He should be playing. Uh, nah. Playing? You can play. <clears throat> John, John will play. Well, we I, wanted to try to speed run it, but Billy couldn't make it today. Oh man, I can't. Speed I will clean the this. controller. Don't worry. I had to get a tetanus shot trying to pull those controllers out of wherever they were. Oh yeah, and they were all covered in like the joy. Yeah. The, oh gosh, that little. They weren't made to last more than whatever in storage. Anyway, so we're about to jump jump to the game. John Yednock, Jose. I can't say your last name. I always screw That's it up. Funny. Super space. How do you though. say it? Cicerraro. 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 Because every time I, I see it, and then I say it, it doesn't come out the same way. It's cool, man. Cicerraro, John Yednock, and then Thomas. Thomas Hart. <laughs> uh, Jose worked on UI and... With John. Yeah. With John. Together. With John. By the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, well, you were also over there That's for a little while. Well, we that, did the you vendor. moved a couple of different places. That doesn't count. We don't, we don't talk no, about those no, times. No. Jose's first day at Insomniac was my first day in North Carolina at Insomniac. Oh, wow. That's a, that's a fun fact I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. We've been I came best in, friends ever since. And he was, sitting yeah. in, he was sitting in Julie's office. And I'm like, what is he doing all this stuff? Oh, he's a new guy. Mm. So I didn't have to do any of that stuff, fortunately. I did in yeah. Burbank. But anyway... Uh, so yes, I remember specifically, but that was during FFA. That was during FFA. The Nexus the little, yeah, came. Yeah, the, the first task I got was doing some of the marketing art for FFA. Nice. Got a new... Yeah, it was for the DLC map. Yeah. Yeah, I remember awesome. that. All right, let's jump into the game. By the way, we'll try to read... If anyone donates, we'll try to read off your message. But if it's vulgar, I'm going to skip it. I'll tell you right now. Where does this We'd, fit in into the ratcheting... This is the epilogue to, to the future, future series. To the future series, okay. Yeah. Which Post it's future. the last one for PS3. Let's so do a new game. Yeah. Gotcha. Completes the story. Let's play on hard. Gotcha. <clears throat> uh, what do we game? No, no, no. What do we do here? No, no, no. We don't need options. You said do it on hard. No. Don't you go to a new game and then you select yeah. hard. Oh, oh. Because I remember these awesome difficulty things. Did you, didn't you do them, Jose? Yeah. No, you can change it on Hero, the screen. Look, legend. Yes, but yeah, go, he wants to show the. We want to show you the icons. Oh. John, you're spoiling the surprise. I'm not spoiling anything. All right, got a new game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, you're looking all. Reading, anyway, reading's all not your, required to be a programmer. Board. Cadet, go to cadet. Check Hero. Out. Yeah, but legend. You made these. Yeah, yeah, we have shirts. Oh, we have it. shirts with yeah. that. Actually, yeah. segue. If you, go uh, to, did, yeah. if you go to insomniac.store, you can buy this shirt with this on it. Yeah. It's the Ratchet Guns shirt. Yeah. There's no sound effects. Super psyched to make those. This oh, soundtrack so was amazing, too. Yeah. We're this, really going to play on Legend? I remember 
We can switch off. I mean, so so when I streamed this game, when when it was when we were demoing this game before it launched, I think I had Joel on the stream with me, and I was like, I play this every day on Legend, and I'm like, I'm gonna play it on Legend, and I did on stream, and it went horribly. Yeah. But like normally at my desk, it was fine. Something about being on stream makes the like. I'm good at games part of your brain melts and you yeah. just become I am, I am not good at games, so look at that. I'm gonna turn this down just a tad. Are we watching all the cuts? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well you can't skip them, I don't think, until you play yeah, you, you can. You can the first time through? Can't you hit Boom! Oh you See? can Yeah. Mr. UI, UI remembers. Hey, don't skip it! Oh, oh I, I, thought, I thought Circle was back. <laughs> Thomas is not gonna know what's going on. I'm lost. Uh, uh, Alright, should so, we start over? So Chat, should we start over? We went we went into the ship. We were outside repairing some stuff. By the way, oh, okay. and now we need to wake up Kronk and Zephyr, in case you didn't know. By the way, okay. we do also have the pre-order bonus armor on here. I will say this. Someone mentioned the yeah. soundtrack, and I sort of mentioned the soundtrack. The I remember the uh, vividly the first time Jamie sent out uh, the soundtrack to the office and said, here's our theme well, song. They said start over. Well, the story is we're transporting. No, they want to see the cinematic. Oh, oh, oh wait, can you go to cinematics? Yeah, hey. there you go. The Nebulox. We That's built a good UI. Both worlds. No, you skipped it. This is the. This is. Should this, I press skip? This is the wrong one. <laughs> this one. Yes, yeah. this is the one you want. There we go. See, I knew there was a way to get back to it. Um, however, so anyway, Jamie, Jamie sent out the soundtrack to the office, the theme song, and I vividly remember listening to it and saying, "This is by far one of the best theme songs we've ever had in a Ratchet game." Until. Until what? Remember the when you beat it and it's the eight bit version? Oh, until the eight spoilers. See? Yes. Yeah. It was so good. And it's then, like my favorite thing I've ever. And then the I eight bit version of the song. Anyway, in my in my opinion, aside from maybe the Spider Man theme song, this is probably our best theme song we've ever done. Because I don't think Sunset had a theme song. It had Sunset City by the Bronx, which I love the Bronx, um, and that was a good one too. But this one, straight orchestra, is amazing. Those grabs are scissors. So cool. Anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this for you guys for now. Um, but. We were setting it up, and I saw that you have the grab boots, and I thought that was really interesting that you start out with the grab boots in this game. Well, spoiler, it's a smaller game, and we didn't have a lot of time to lead up to that. Tau and Apogee. Tau win. Ben, was he here at that point? I don't think so. Not Jason. Well, Jason Butch did the um, Wang Chung one. Yeah. <laughs> and I was telling uh, I was telling Thomas earlier that was a that was Temp, and everyone loved it so much that we yeah. went and got the license for the song. Yep. But it was supposed to be just Temp. As same with our scratch video of uh, Dave, <laughs> the mayor, Dave, yeah. Dave Tyson. The mayor. We'll get into that when we get to that point of the game. Anyway, sorry, I'm ignoring chat. One of the best OST, 100%. Yes, this soundtrack was amazing. Hello, sir, drips a lot. What did Spider-Man have? What do you mean, what did Spider-Man have? Spider-Man had a really good theme song. Why is Ratchet such a jerk? He's tired. Oh, he's I mean, cranky. he's saved the galaxy, like, I don't know, six times by now? Uh, hey, y'all... I don't think he was being much. Prepared. Do we need to watch this one too? Uh, no, no, that's just the talks about the. You can watch it. It just talks about the the twins. Okay. I made those signs. Check this out. Hit that. Hello, Sir Drips. How come Ali Hillis voiced Talon instead of Tara Strong in this game? Uh, probably for contract reasons. I don't. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing. Adam. I'm guessing is because either Tara Strong wasn't available oh. or or or. Uh, oh, hello there. But I feel like she did a really good job uh, replacing Tara Strong. Tim, this game. Tim was telling me a really interesting tidbit about about him. That originally you couldn't. Well, originally you couldn't hit him, but everyone was hitting him in play tests that they oh, made so him. Oh, so I need to hit him? No, you did. Give you already him, did. Give him a hit react. No, I talked to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't have such. He a didn't have a hit react oh, until wait. we play tested it. Take a look at that. Yeah. Because they made that. No way. I made all the yeah. Jason Anderson asked me to make some signs so people could get around the ship. Is this the infamous macaroni? No. What's Wake the up. infamous macaroni artwork? Was that PS4? So, Jason Anderson added this macaroni artwork to 
a, one of the levels or one of the museums and the community in the forums was blowing it up trying to figure out what it meant because it looked like Lombax language. Oh, that's and they're like, what is the hidden meaning in this message? And they, I just kept letting them go on and on and on. Oh, Turns cool. out it was just Jason's son's macaroni artwork <laughs> from like kindergarten was or that, something. But that's, that's not in the It's either the in this game or... It level in this, is it? it? Yeah, it might be this game or it might be <laughs> PS4. I don't remember. Were they like... Going into like matrixy matrix matrixes to like try and figure it out. They were like doing all, kind of all kinds of stuff, and, oh, I, and, so I, and I just kept teasing them along, like you didn't get it yet. And yeah, it was just macaroni artwork. This game's lighting is great. Why is the plumber here? Why is the plumber in every game? The plumber is like super powered. He's like he's like Stan Lee in the MCU, right? He is now. The only Ratchet and Clank game that didn't have a spicy title. Uh, well, no, that's not true. Into the Nexus used to be... All, all for One wasn't spicy. No, you're right. And also, uh, I don't think Deadlock was really spicy. <laughs> that's true. There was Full Frontal. Yeah. What? Well, you know, <laughs> fun fact. By the way, this is in no way, shape, or form training you to use your camera. Fun fact, though, this game, you probably already, you guys know this. It, it originally was going to be called Into the Netherverse. Or end of the nether regions, sorry. Uh, oh, yeah. Because the nethers are in this game. But we stuck with Nexus. Into the Nexus. You can play it on PS4 Plus right now. Or PS4 oh, now. Yeah. Right now. I did not know that. That's awesome. Man, Resistance Fall of Man. Over. Yeah, it's so cool. Check out that Best multiplayer build. game of my life. Oh, why yeah. did you change it so much to 2 and 3? And why did you erase super funny written chat? Please, a resistance. Uh, a I, I, yeah. The game just evolved. I don't know. We can go into at, at nauseum about why we changed resistance. There's actually podcasts about it where Ted talks about that stuff. I love how squash and stretch it. And we don't... We don't own the IP. Oh, yeah, buddy. Remember, you can hit X to speed it up. I what? know. We don't want I would say we don't own the IP, so any future uh, resistance oh, yeah. would not be up, up to us. Yes. Was that one of the questions? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was the ending of that. Where's Ted? Ted is, oh, no. is in Burbank. Crack of Time was originally going to be called Clock Blockers. Well, I don't. So when you say something's originally going to be called that, that's just that was just an idea. I don't think it was ever a real thing. And, and, and that no, was one of yeah, I don't think that was one of the it. yeah. So Nexus, oh buddy, Nexus was the code name of the game, and then into the Nether region was what we wanted to call it, and then we stuck with Nexus, but we said into the Nexus because you a Nexus is actually a, like a the portal right between two dimensions, um, and Europe stuck with Nexus I think because into the was too hard to localize or something. That, that communicator. Oh. You know you can shoot those, right? Yeah, but I don't need to. I gotta wait for them to, really to turn to off the 3D engine. animations in here instead of just a static graphic. For the, uh, yeah, the Astros? Talki the talking the heads. What's your guys' oh, favorite oh. Ratchet and Clank oh, title? John. Going Commando. Tom Jose. Oh. Quest for Booty. Oh, oh that's that. mine. That that's mine, too. One. Mine is Quest for Booty. Thomas? <laughs> Mine's going Commando. Thomas. Good answer, Thomas. What? This is a family stream. Sorry. I love this game. The gravity sections were so fun. That was the one of the pillars, right? Uh, when we first did the prototype, it was based on the gravity like, boots. Reticles, man. We did a lot of... This game has a lot of love in it. Got him. It, it, it still did. looks amazing. The, uh, the one thing where I noticed, oh, wow, things have like, crazy improved for some reason. Um, I mean, there's a lot of little things, right? But the bolts, I think, look like mm -hmm. really, really good. What was, what was cool. fun for us is doing UI. We saw watch the accommodate four three aspect mm -hmm. ratio. Also, watch when they fall, uh, and they and the, and the physics kick in, and the, they <laughs> that's bounce. what I'm I'm waiting for. It's not it's, here. It's the next scene, I think, or maybe it is this scene. Well, yeah. No, it's where you turn the gravity back on, which is the next. You got to go back outside one more time. And then when you turn the gravity back on, they fall and then they bounce around. Oh, okay. Why why do you have titles like Going Commando and Size Matters where they they are joke titles? They're called Innuendo. Uh, yes. Is it a double entendre? 
Yes, I think that's yeah. it. That, that used to be much faster. It's a single and It's just a uh, part of the fun and charm, right? Yeah, I don't know where it started. I don't. I don't really think it. Like in Europe, it doesn't really. Since they don't have them, oh. it doesn't really add much. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun for fans, maybe, but like, I think we probably. I mean, Ratchet PS4 was just Ratchet and Clank, right? So, right. We, we could have did something funny there, I suppose. We want a Mega Collection remastered on PS4. That would be a question for Sony. My favorite <laughs> bug in this game was a spot where you come to the left turn to go inside of the ship. Oh, it's going to go away. But you walked off dead and there was no collision and you'd fall into space. I think that happened in this first level. There's a point where you can't use the gravity boots and you just float in space. Why did you stop making Ratchet and Clank after Crack and Time? We didn't stop making Ratchet and Clank after Crack and Time. This game is after Crack and Time. <laughs> Don't get upset. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the name Sunset Overdrive come from? Uh, that was just always the name of the game. I don't know. Uh, Marcus Smith and, and Drew Murray just oh, came up with that as part of the pitch. Yeah, I feel like they explained it uh, once. It was it was because it sounded like a punk or rock. Like it was just very cool. Got it. And uh, and then Sunset City was the name of the You're city. Doing great, Benny. Thanks. And actually, the name of the drink in the game was originally Overdrive, but we, we had a patent issue because I think uh, Mountain Dew or Pepsi or whatever owned yeah. Amp yeah. Overdrive, so we made it over Overcharge. Oh, no. So because I am not familiar as familiar with this game as I am with some of the other Ratchet & Clank's games, I didn't play it, uh, I am not super aware oh, no, of I this villain. I, what, I what is her name? Vendra Prog. Vendra. She's one of the twins. But, her and Nefton. She looks so awesome. I love her design. Yeah. yeah. When she see her brother? Yeah. He's mm -hmm. awesome. Who? Who did the design? Dave. 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 Dave? Yeah. Who? Amazing. Dave and Greg, man. That they, yep. they Ratchet and Clank. I assume. I was just asking. But. Uh, how can I get a code for the armor? I don't believe you can. I, that was a pre-order bonus. Even if we still had codes, the chance of them working. Are there other six armors? years later? Or is it just one pre-order? There's only one pre-order armor. There are other armors. But you only what get is it? Oh. It's a rhino piece. Yeah, that was a little handholdy with like just slapping it right in front of him. Hey, different kind of Plumber yeah. told you that you lost. He lost the yeah. pieces. Going commando and tools of destruction. What are your what about 2016 and tools of destruction? Tools of destruction. Oh, you mean with the names? Ratchet and King pack, packing heat would be a good title. In retrospect, how good or underappreciated Deadlocked is. I didn't hear read the first part of that comment. Um, watch, here it is. Yeah. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, hey. <laughs> Popcorn boxes. That's the one the, thing we The fixed. bolts inside the boxes had to settle after the boxes settled. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? So well, we gra fixed gravity, the, it all makes sense. We fixed the space physics. <clears throat> Was it this game that we changed it and everyone got mad about it? But we changed it to fix, or was it PS4 that we changed it? PS4, we changed it, and everyone got mad about it. But we actually made Is it better. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah. This Nefton. And so yeah, this scene, oh, really? oh. this right here, the Wang Chung song was temporary, but everyone loved it so much. What's going on with the TV? Uh oh. Did our computer crash? Your computer re rebooted. No, it just locked. You know what it is? It's Windows is doing this new thing where they auto lock. It's like the new Windows so, update. Are we, but were we streaming that whole time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what I'm saying is, is Windows, for some reason, it does that. I don't know why. My computer's been doing it at the office, too, now, all of a sudden. Yeah. Hmm. we got to fix that. This. So, anyway, Wing Chung was, was, it was just fun, and then uh, we decided to keep it. Thugs for less. Did I have See, a cameo? Thugs for less were in the Going Commando games. Mm -hmm. Yes. We brought him back for this. Again, Going Commando. I think the best one. Did you have a different story for this game? I recall an art book saying something like that. Okay, so Ratchet and Clank Nexus. Uh, the code name was used on two different I'm about games. To get my favorite weapon. The code name was used on. Or am uh, I? What the, what, the bomb here? glove? Can you just check that you thing can't out? Open the door <laughs> I think you're right. So, um. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, Nexus <laughs> Nexus for this game was the code name, but before that, a long time ago, I believe during the PS2 games, we had a, an idea for Nexus, Ratchet Nexus, which was like 
a singular planet game where he was stuck on this planet that was in like Civil War or something, and there was I don't know. What did I do wrong. Th oh, I that's do. what you're thinking of. Is there's multiple Nexus games that use the same code name? Well, these guys are awesome. Are awesome. Yeah. The, you gotta let them those guys on out. hard. You're playing on hard, right? Yeah. I remember I don't, before I don't have time we tuned to let them it, animate. But before we tuned it back, I remember those things were super aggressive and they would just attack the crap out of you. Sounds so Star Wars. -y. Mm -hmm. Is there any is there any in jokes that you guys put in the game for only you guys get? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, well, maybe. Sure, there might be like fun. I don't know about jokes, but like pictures of people's family or. There's the thing you're talking about in Sunset with the the dates. The dates of the kids, yeah. But yeah. I mean, those are things that we talk about. Yeah. And almost all Easter eggs in well, all Easter eggs in all of our games God. need to be uh, vetted oh. by legal. So usually oh, there's a list of all of them. Yeah. They're so cool. My only question is why did you s they switch VAs voice actors for Talwin in this game? Yeah, I mean that the the answer is I think it had to do with either Terra Strong wasn't available Whoa. or didn't want to do it. It was like a contract thing. And we found Ali Hillis, who did an amazing job. Oh, I got hit. Uh, in fact, I don't think there's a big difference. Like, I think they both did great jobs in their respective games. But I don't know the exact details of why Tara Strong didn't come back. But usually when it's related to an actor, it's usually a contract slash availability thing. It's not like we go out and say, hey, we didn't like that person. Let's oh, fire them. Man. Now take a crease. Whoa, the flying dudes. I was getting the controls mixed up because I'm used yeah, to the, the PS4. PS4. <laughs> so I was like, how do I do the long jump? How's it different? Uh, uh, the PS4, you just hit top. Yeah, R1, you just hit one button and it does the long jump. And this one, you have jump. to hit like R2 and jump. Oh, right. So right? it's inner like straight mode or Yeah. I don't remember exactly. Well, I, like if I had the, what is it to the long jump? It's R2 yeah. and then yeah. X. So James's mama says, if for next week's tournament, which is Mario Kart 8, I will donate $25 if the winner gets to throw a pie in the loser's face. No. That might be worth $25. It depends on how much the pie costs. Maybe we just do whipped cream, because that's... We don't, like, throw... We can't Maybe spend like more than $25. Gentle, like, yeah, I mean, we, well, how about we rub the victory in their face, like, metaphorically, right? Like, I'm like, oh, I win... <laughs> what if it's a pizza pie? I'm not. I'm not gonna waste a pie on someone. Well, that's what I'm saying. We'll do like a whipped cream pie. How about the winner like gets? How about the winner pie? gets to eat yeah, a cheesecake? Like a cheesecake? Well, whipped cream tastes better than shaving cream. I say whipped cream pie if we can remember. Thomas, let's remember that, and we'll buy some whipped cream. Okay, I think we gotta get buy-in, but yeah. Buy-in from who? Oh no, the people who would be doing this. Well, I'm in the tournament. Okay. And if I lose, I'll take a pie to the face. All right, I would too. It's I only the last do person and the first person. I'll right. do it for the kids. I it's for it the for kids. kids. Do it for the kids who need your help. <laughs> he was all like, oh. <laughs> yeah, he's raging out. This still sounds really loud. I remember when Hebrew showed that. I hope you guys announced some Ratchet Clank news Wah. during E3. How many no people ammo. work at Insomniac Games? Ammo uh, not necessary. I don't know. Like right now, to 260 something, 265 something like that. Here's some ammo. Somewhere around there. Not 300. I would have died oh, a lot by now. You got mama. it! You got it! Yeah, can of whipped cream and pan. That's what we're, we're doing it. We're doing it. Now we gotta make sure James gets in last place. Right. So we all have to cheat to get him in and last place. And somehow, magically, we have to make sure that James's mama gets first place. So That's... James's mama is throwing a pie in James's face. Yes. Do it for the kids. How old is Ratchet in this game? Ratchet doesn't have an age. He's, he's old enough. Yeah, he's old enough to swing wrenches. No! So. Oh. People, people oh, ask this friend. question all the time about Ratchet's age, and the answer I got from, I think it was TJ told me this one time, is that, does Bart Simpson age? Like That's not an answer, that's no, just a I'm question. Just no, the answer, the answer is straight? similar yeah. to how Bart Simpson is, and the whole is Simpsons this. in general. That shoot was this one. Ratchet is, is just if one? you shoot, yeah, if you shoot, you auto strafe. Ratchet just is, is. He just is. He doesn't have an age. It's not like one game is five years later, so he's five years older. You know? Well, he's older than Clank. 
Is he? Because Clank was created in a factory oh. and then landed. I've never seen that before. Landed. <laughs> I've never seen someone jump down the the uh, grav ramp thing. Speed runs. See? Jose knows all the secrets. We're playing no, on man, hard, I, remember. I <laughs> we can change it not from hard. They're really aggressive on hard. Yeah. We'll have to ask Herman, who's on the stream tomorrow, about that. Because he did a lot of the enemy stuff. Yeah, make Herman play on hard. I keep using the PS4 controls. <laughs> I don't remember. I didn't the read menu. I clearly didn't read the art book, Northern Stars. Oh, I didn't last that long. The concept art mentoring oh, that the Kragmites and Lombaxes. I don't remember. Are you sure? Because I'll have to read. I'll have to get a copy of the art book and look at and see what you're talking about. Were because they, I don't. What's up with the Kragmites and the Lombaxes? And Lombax is supposedly mentioning they were going to be in this game. Uh, I don't ever recall a time. When the Kragmite, I, when specifically the Lombaxes were going to be in this game, I don't recall a time that happening, but maybe. Nice shot, Thomas. How old are the, is the Sunset character? I mean, a hundred. Yeah, yeah. hundred. Hundred enough to drink. Hundred and six. Why this game doesn't have Arabic language? That's a. Really good question. I don't know. Those languages are usually determined by the publishers. So, Sony in this case probably gave us a list uh, of languages and said these are the regions we want to localize in, and, and we said okay. Cat triangle, mm -hmm. little hot spot between the last. Yeah, and you can also this is the one where you can map it to the D-pad, right? <laughs> nope, that that was PS4. Uh, you can map them to the D-pad. Oh right, though. but it's like it's, it's not a lot. Yeah, weirder. it's not as as. Swanky as the PS4 one. But yeah, I thought this was the f one of the first games we did it in. No, we did it. We did it in all for one. FFA, we did it in all for one. I think it was because it came from Thomas. You know you can switch your gun. Right? The future. I'm out of ammo. Titles. You have another gun. I'm out of ammo. Oh man, you gotta get some ammo. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. <laughs> Thomas, you know you can get some ammo, right? There's ammo I over there. Melee There's ammo over there in the box. Hey, 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 hey. in the he, corner. He just leveled up though, so he'll. Yeah. He'll last a little longer. We did the work to yeah. get him experience points. You got three bombs. Use them wisely. By the way, Don't miss. for those watching... Oh, oh uh, you opened the door. We're also playing on hard, left. but... Other left. Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway, go to Insomniac Games slash Play Live, and you have a chance, if you would donate at least $1, to win prizes such oh, as awesome. this Ratchet and Clank art book signed by the team. Among other things from St. Yes. Jude, like mouse pads and t-shirts and tumblers and um, other things. A chair. You should show the picture. Yeah, but we're playing the game. I'd show this. That's why I have this thing. Look how it slides in and out. <laughs> Let me show the picture for a second. I can John. He's just he's, he's just, just exploring the laundry room. Okay. That was one of my favorites. Here's the picture of stuff you can win. Ta-da! Nice. That's what you can win. Oh, that's the bomb. Okay. Okay. Back to the back to the game. Wait, what was? If you can, um, yeah, it's not important. This. By the way, oh, let me put the URL in chat for everyone. So go to that URL the custom medical right here and yeah, donate, please. It's for so the kids. Like it's for the nice, kids. It looks like Ratchet's head. Mm. I got a question. Remember at Kraken time when Ratchet was trying to explain the oh, old yeah, old baby. Old the older Lombax <laughs> that they didn't. <laughs> All die. They just moved on to it. Awesome. It was pretty cool. On what he meant by that in Kraken kind of time. I forgot about that. They. That was so awesome. I'm trying to understand the question, but which one did I level up? The, the combustor. combustor. That's the gun. Yep, the blaster. Yeah. Yep. You can tell because it says LVL two. It's not an Omni blaster. It's a combustor. Anyway, the question oh. is. They didn't all die. They moved on. I I I don't want to like go into all the story of Kraken Time right now because off the top of my head, it's I probably don't know. You'll get it wrong. Yes, exactly. It's something to do with another dimension, basically. I was really excited to play the demo of this at Community Day 2013. Oh, John! Oh. I remember John. John Del Vento, you were there. That was at Durham uh, Armory. Armory, right? Yeah. Yes. That was fun. We had. Barbecue and we played this game and we had a panel. It was awesome. We gave away a bunch of stuff. 
Ratchet was there. Ratchet was there. He was, he was there. Uh, are there any plans of bringing back Outer Knots? Really cool. Wow. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's probably not at currently, but who knows what the future holds. Why are y'all the best? Uh, that's debatable Lots to think of that we're all the best, but... Lots of practice? Mm -hmm. It's true. You don't start as the best. No, you, you gotta just, work your way up there. You get old. <laughs> oh, this is an important plot point. You can't miss this, Thomas. Okay. Tim told me a very sad spoiler earlier. Well, I think you're about to. Uh, yeah, no, you're that, about to experience it. it. Yeah. No. It's not much of a spoiler. It's like I want the old blaster from up game. your arsenal. Well, that was we we broke everyone's heart. Like literally, what? 30, 20 minutes into the game. It's like oh, every. It's time for a re retweet. Every animated movie has to start with some big, huge, sad thing. Yeah, you break them down and you build them back up. That's right. No. And then we added this part. This was. No. I'm afraid who animated this, but this was like the, the little. I'm sad. Last moment. Bye-bye. No. Bye-bye. Why? That's you don't even really game. know them. You, you didn't even remember their names. so Because you didn't play Crack in Time, did you? I played... Uh, you played Tools of Destruction. Tools of... Uh, the first future game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got it. X. And then you can tap X again when you're in floaty mode and it slams down fast. Let's slow. Oh, get him. Okay. Oh, ah, me. The thug accents are awesome. I can't okay. believe Ratchet is dead. Sorry, I'm late. That's okay, Jacob. That's okay. Where did the ideas from Ratchet come from? You... Wow. That's. Oh, oh where did the idea it? of Ratchet? Okay, so. Switch. If you watched our stream on Tuesday, Chad Desern was here and he actually brought that up. Um, so, after Spyro 3, they kind of were sick of doing Spyro. Not because they didn't love Spyro, but mainly because he had four legs. He couldn't really hold stuff in his hands, and they wanted to make a bipedal uh, character um, that could potentially shoot guns or use gadgets or whatever, and so they moved on to do that. And what they started with was Girl with a Stick, mm -hmm. uh, which turned out to not be so good. Um, and that turned into, uh, I believe it was Brian Hastings Such or somebody. Such a cool environment. This really is. I, I could be wrong by that, but mentioned, you know, about an alien that travels from planet to planet with his sidekick. The sidekick originally was not a robot, it was another alien. Um, but it became a robot. So anyway, that's how basically how Ratchet came. Go, 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 go. You gotta hurry up, it's gonna blow up. This is I remember so I was telling Thomas, this is the first time when I got here and we were and we were play testing this game internally with, with people. Remember Sony came? Uh, and I suggested that we streamed it to everyone's desk. So I remember this was like one of the first games we played and we all watched the play tests. Oh, okay, like, yeah. To the point where remember this level, like yeah. we, we watched this level so many times mm -hmm. and people like painfully not knowing what to do and... Uh, <laughs> there was at one point, I don't know if it was a bug or what, but at the part where the asteroids are coming at you, it would just say, go Rook, over and <laughs> over and over. It was the best and the worst at the same time. Go Rook? Yeah, yeah, that's what so the, Kronker's Yeah, Kronker's effort is talking to you to be like, the oh, engine's wow. down, now go Rook, and you just don't, if you don't move, it would just keep playing it. We don't, uh, we don't work at home. <clears throat> oh. No, we're in the office right now. How, how, have any of you worked on AR, with the Mayar Magic Leap? I think we've, we all, none of us have worked, well, maybe none Jose, but we've all tried it, right? You've all tried it. Yeah. Yep. I so mean, I did art, but I didn't work on the place. Yeah. So so um, and I did like help with some of the marketing and stuff, but I didn't actually make the game. Oh, um, yeah. Jump on it. Jump on it. Anyway, what's Get the it. question? If you did, what do you think of the potential of series, serious gaming properties? Uh, I think the there's a lot of potential. I think it's probably still in the future in terms of making a device that is a affordable and b smaller, much smaller. Uh, but I think there's a ton of potential with AR, for sure. Well, technically mixed reality. Because uh, augmented reality is different. 
We're not augmenting reality, we're mixing reality. People are pretty excited about the the uh, computer-free headsets for VR. Yeah, so, like, imagine Quest, that, but... Quest is amazing too. Like, yeah, all that untethered stuff, even... Um, even if, even though they use mobile processors right now, they're still like on par with, I don't know, the PS3 for example. And this game looks good still. Mm -hmm. You you should partially randomize the layouts of levels in future games. Those are cool particles. Yeah, this is you like the peanuts. Game. This is our the packing peanuts. Yeah, the last game I worked on. Was yeah, this was the last game of the old engine. Yeah. That's right. This was the yeah. It's because this was a work. This is being worked on at the same time as Fuse. Fuse was on the new engine, mm -hmm. which is the same engine that all of our games since then have been on. Um, however, this specific, particularly North Carolina, was working on this at the same time, um, and we were using the PS3 engine. So I remember I had to have both on my computer, and that was a pain in the butt. Mm -hmm. Because I had come from Burbank, and we were finishing up Fuse in Burbank, and so I had no, I didn't remember at all how to use the PS3 engine, because it was much more cumbersome. It's pretty awesome. That was a great opening. Yeah, this game, this game, I feel like it got, it got good reviews, right? Yeah. It got a lot of good fan love, but I feel like it's still underappreciated. Uh, because it was a smaller title, but this is an amazing game. I think I might have. It was either a new follower or a, a donation. I briefly caught out. Of the oh, sorry. I'll try in my eye. Thomas is the donation um, police. Wow. Yep. This doesn't show any donation. Hold on. Hold on. Alexio, I love the work you guys do. Keep it up. Two dollars. Thank you, Alexio, very much. Woo! Thank you. Yay. You're awesome. The old engine supported S60 FPS. Here's a fun fact. All of our engines yeah. support S60 <laughs> FPS. That's cool. <laughs> Technically. Right? Yeah. Because the new engine makes 90 it's... FPS on the Oculus. So, uh, fun fact, it has nothing to do with the engine. I don't know if that's a fun fact. It's just a fact. And here's another fun fact, Kian. We never said 30 FPS is better. Never. I love that article that people keep referencing, that I think Mike Acton, who uh, moved on to Unity, I believe, he's still at Unity, um, he wrote an article about why does 30, 30 frames, or does 60 FPS matter, and it had nothing to do with, yeah, I think so. That was amazing that you could do all that. I remember, these are the like little touches that made this game so good. Anyway, the article basically said that because at the time we wrote it, which was during the PS3 era, because nobody on console could really tell the difference. Uh, and not not really tell the difference, but nobody... It didn't sell more copies of the game to be at 60 frames per second, I guess was the... And we would have rather focused on better fidelity, like we did in this game, than sacrifice that for 60 FPS. I don't know, that's me paraphrasing the article. But the fun fact is that our engine, all of our engines, have always done 60 FPS. Or, or more. I mean, technically, if we had unlimited GPU and CPU power, we could make it run at 144. Can I upgrade now? Uh, you yeah. have to go to a vendor. Yeah. <clears throat> so, looking at that things light up and seeing how much space is between the edge of the screen mm -hmm. it just reminds me of how we had to worry about the standard deaf TVs yeah the uh make another banjo kazooie we did not make banjo kazooie so no do any of you guys play golf <laughs> do you play golf no I, I have in the past not recently I, I, I played it one and a half times I enjoy golf quite a bit I, I've played it quite, I used to play it all the time and then I uh Probably about six years ago is the last time I played. But I used to play all the time. I enjoy golf. Is there a new Ratchet and Clank? I mean, no. Right now, all we're talking about is Stormland and how awesome Spider-Man was. 
and all of our other awesome game catalogs. Right, Thomas? Yeah. You're staring at me like... <laughs> you got... You gotta target that thing. Yeah, these are awesome. I am. Oh, hit it. It makes... Yeah, it's like a gong. Just another... Make another Jack and Daxter. No! I'm just gonna keep saying no to everything. Just got a platinum for this one. Awesome. Thank you. Oh. Thanks for playing, Lee. Oh. Thomas yeah. just died. Thomas just died. Did I gotta switch it off? You drowned it. Did. Dang, I go out play? like that. No, I gotta reach out. That was so good. That was the first time I've ever played. When can we expect Ratchet and Clank into the ne next us? Oh, I see what you did there. Make another Clay Fighters, please, then. Okay. Some people can't even see the difference between 60 and 30. It's so weird. Some people can't see the difference between 60 and 30. Really Especially if you have a TV box. that <laughs> doesn't handle it very well. Or if you have a TV that doesn't even do 60. I'm super excited for Stormland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get in there. I remember Journey... I remember Journey at launch being 180p. Or 1080p, sorry. But after the update, right. it went to 720. Which way was it supposed to go next? It's supposed way. to go up? Yeah. I see. Do you like... It's so cool. The African Spider God hey. storyline for Spider-Man. I don't... I'm not familiar with that. What also... we Who also got platinum for all the our Ratchet and Clank games? That's a good question. How many of our games have you platinum, John? Uh, I don't know if I have actually platinumed any like at home but i know like while we're working on it i've probably done every single thing you could do yes have but, thomas have you platinum any insomnia games uh i mean well, i don't think i've beaten many uh, insomnia games at home i beat this game so many times that by the time it came out i don't think i wanted to play I, it i a hundred percent at spyro one nice if that counts yes i missed a donation sorry Hold on, did you see that little gear and when I, the name of the city popped up, the little gear thing? That's the Lombax I love writing. that, I love it. I might have 100% it's going commando as well. Ryan LFG, glad I can donate to this because with you Very guys, tedium. love what you're doing. Hold on, I gotta check the amount. Why does it not show it right now? Thank you, Ryan LFG, for the $5. Thank you. Very oh, yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan. You're awesome. Um, Planet map. But I don't want to do that yet. Okay, I'll do it. Technically, no Check one can see the difference between 30 and 60. The human eye works 25, give or take. Um, what was the challenge? Uh, was this the one where we had to make that little tool and then QA like yeah. walked, when they so walked Brian, the edge of the whole world? Yep. So <clears throat> Brian Algeyer like, made a tool that would read the output that I made generate like every second or something as QA walked along the edge of what is like basically walkable area. Yeah, and we would get a path and I would remake it and yeah. then we would chunk it. To get the like map. the silhouette. For the to map. get it to work. That, the yeah. blue, yeah, all to the get blue an accurate map, is yeah. what they yeah. mapped out. And then where is the, I guess it's just a different level, the, the black? The black, so, no, the black, the black is, is just like some, some geometry that's not part of your Yeah, you can't area. get there. Gotcha. By the way, this, this orphanage mm -hmm. is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the first game I did. Check that out, I could spin it. I love charity streams. So amazing what gaming can do. Yes, Ooh. it is amazing. Oh, you gotta get the. Oh, that's all oh, they're both so Try good. both. Because you can try them. Nightmare yeah. Box is amazing. Actually, I like the Temple I forgot that we the had the Temple Temporal. Yeah. Alright, I love that. So, this. The, my favorite part of this is everyone's reaction to when they get scared. This Although, is, this, this is the Temporal. This we're is gonna, the portal. We're gonna try this first, and then we'll buy the the nightmare box. Remember, we had to do the challenge where you shoot the guys into the blades. Yeah. 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 The arena. I actually worked on the arenas, a lot. Man, this is amazing. It's an awesome weapon. All right, let's go to the nightmare box. We gotta try to do beat you, this game in three streams. Do you think we'd be in three streams? Nice. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't think we can beat it in three streams. Trial over. All right, we're just gonna buy this. Yeah, although the temporal repulsor is actually a better weapon in terms of usage in the game. Oh man, we got the tutorial tutorializer. This was the first game we made this hex upgrade. 
Yeah, and then it went into the next uh, Ratchet game, yeah. the PS4. Fun, fun fact, it also went into... What game were you no, playing? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! We did crash scale form a lot making this, though. Yeah, we, we crashed the game a lot because some of these would get pretty gigantic. Yeah. Like, check that out. It looks like a blaster. Yeah. That's no, kind of like a skull shape. Yeah, they all had their cool the shapes. Nightmare box for sure. And they all got bigger and cooler looking. Yeah. This is so, so cool. Temporal Repulsor is one of the best shotgun type weapons in the series, in my opinion. I like the, uh, I also like the Pixelizer. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah. Yep. Just look at that gun. Why'd you send the vendors from, vendors from Gadgetron to Grummelnet? Grummelnet was, uh, Future, right? All of Future was yeah. Grummelnet, I think. So this was, this game was Future, so... I don't know. He was in a different galaxy, so he used a different vendor. Yep. This game is really held up. It looks awesome. So. The yeah, flashlight, the clank light. Oh, those little spawners. The variety of enemies is awesome, too. Man. When did this come out? 2013. Six years ago. Okay. Oh, get in there. It's amazing how fast games move. Did you ever think about sneaking in an arena into the reimagining? Uh, I think at one point we tried, but I the reimagining originally was going to be like I don't know, just like a remake almost. And then um, we didn't want to do that yeah, because yeah. we were like, <laughs> I love so the awesome. I love how every yeah, enemy awesome. type scares differently yeah. too. They all animate differently. Uh, anyway, I don't. I, I think at one point we probably talked about an arena, but it just wasn't part of the scope. Oh, I think the timer is shorter on hard. This game doesn't have future in the title, you're right. We did, we did away with the future in the title. But in the timeline, it comes right after, well, not right after, but after Kraken Time. Why was the best vendor name... Why was the best vendor name you gave? What was the best vendor name you gave? I honestly don't know what... Because it doesn't really work on those guys. Oh, the little swarmers? Yeah. When are you guys going to make a trade war Ratchet and Clank game with all the vendors fighting for market control? That would be like a uh, like a RTS. Mm. <laughs> a Ratchet and Clank RTS with the vendors. Woo. What is That's Future? Close. Future is just the, the name of... It's like the timeline of the games uh, for PS3. Ratchet and Clank Future, crack, uh, Tools of Destruction, Quest for Booty, and... Um, it's the oh, name of the saga. Time. The saga. The future. But what I like about this is all the like the, the Halloween ish. Yeah, stuff. a little like sort of horror undertone. Yeah. It was always meant to be like a darker game, right? Well like kinda like like uh like supernatural almost like a little bit, you know? Like the what's the haunted city you go to and you see the ghost reflections? Uh it's the one with the mayor, Dave's mayor. Psylog. What is the Psylog? No. I think so. Is it? That's the one with the water? I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of it, but yeah, the little yeah, ghosts. You have the water. ghosts yeah. and stuff, yeah. and it, like the little audio cues of like the things yeah. in the background. Well, I just I love all the purples, pinks, and greens, and even like we tinted the main UI frames to be black this time because they're usually just kind of blue, just to make everything a little bit, a little bit darker. Look, on dropship. Let's follow it and see if it leads us to Pollux's lab. I love this. I love this scene right here. So cool. through the waterfalls and stuff. Sweet. All right, there's a. You can get the gold bolt. I think so. Yeah, it's a it, it is Psylocke, according to Northern Star Dragon. So you were right. Was it? Are you guys ever gonna bring back Sasha? Uh, who's, who's that? <laughs> I I think since Don't cross the street. Yeah. Oh, you they're, crossed they're not, they're not crossed. <laughs> there was a gold bolt somewhere around here. I thought it was right here. I <clears> thought <throat> so too. I think it's the next section. So does that reverse the? Yeah, you were reverse them. Mm -hmm. Whatever you go to second is the direction it goes. Oh, whoops! You missed it. You, or you canceled it. You have to cancel. I think. Is the other one's active? Uh, no, I just can't aim at it when I'm on top of it. 
Oh, well, now, now it's working. Me. Oh. What? Who taught taught this guy how to jump? There you Boom. go. Boom. Nice. I really love all the grab stream puzzles and stuff. Yeah. What is the biggest success and biggest failure of Insomniac Games? My wow. hiring, both both answers. Oh, wow. I don't know. I think we've had a lot of successes over the years. I don't think we've ever had a failure in terms of we've always learned from everything we've done, so it was never a failure. Right? Yeah, man. I think I think the biggest failure was when Thomas fell off the edge in this game. That yes. was a pretty big was failure. Pretty yeah. Yeah. I was, I was disappointed. I was sad about that. I almost walked out. That was huge. <laughs> what can what can the future hold? Who knows? A lot Oops. of stuff, maybe. I did it backwards. Who, who weirdos <laughs> play this game? Might have four uh, hands. I don't know. We are we are the weirdo crew from 1992. I don't know. <laughs> who weirdos play this game? I just said that. I, I, I play and I said we are the weirdo crew from 1992. I don't know. I think they're asking who we are, not necessarily what weirdos play this game. I think they're saying who are these weirdos playing this game? And to that I answer, yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, my name is John Yednock. Anyway, this no. is a charity stream, by the way. <laughs> and if you donate at least a dollar to go to insom.game slash insom.game slash play live and donate at least a dollar, you'll I'll be entered timer. tomorrow. Tomorrow's the first, the second raffle we're going to do. Mm. Uh, so if you get it in before tomorrow, you have more chances to win. Because uh, there'll be every Friday after that, leading up to the final Friday where we'll give away a DX Racer. Oh, no. Uh, thanks to St. Jude he Children's Research Hospital, Hospital and all the money <laughs> all the money goes to them That's awesome get the turret man. Oh, I will I've ever played Sonic 06. I have not the only Sonic games I played were on Sega I thought, I thought something came at me. That's uh, in a later level I think what was the mindset behind All for One? Like, why make a four-player co-op that didn't have weapons that leveled up? The mindset was we wanted to make a couch co-op Ratchet and Clank game. The weapons did level up. Yeah, they did. You had to buy the upgrades, I thought, though. Wait. Isn't there something up there? Uh, Am I, don't I think, crazy? I think you're crazy. I got there. Um, the are you developers? That's what I'm asking. Yes, we all work for Insomnia Games. In fact... Uh, Jose did the UI for this game. Same with John. Programming wise, uh, I was working on this game for from a community marketing perspective, and Thomas was doing something at that time. What were you doing? In six years ago, I, I might have been in. Uh, oh no. Game development school. You went to game development school. <laughs> yeah, Wig Tech. Oh, I love Insomniac Games. PlayStation Gamer Fifty One says. Well, thank you. We love you, too. Why is Nexus a future game when it isn't called future? Uh, because we dropped the future. It got a little confusing. It also was harder to make logos and localize all that stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please remember, remaster more Ratchet & Clank. We don't actually remaster games. That, that would be up to Sony to do that. Uh, Tim, can you tell me why I ain't nothing but a heartbreak? Yes, can. Duh, I missed the original story timeline. <laughs> Hope it Did you miss Like, that was a quote. Did you miss it? Yeah, I, I got okay. it. That's why I, I skipped. Key, I should just read skip Kean's. You should read them stuff. to yourself and then say them out loud. Yeah, but sometimes oh, it's funny when I say stupid stuff. Oh, you Clank puzzle? Yeah, dude. Oh. This one's the... It's the intro Clank puzzle. I know, puzzle. man. These are, these are awesome. The 2D side-scrolling yeah. ones. I love these. What did you do? I used to make sure Remember the little minigame we did the credits? Mm-hmm. Okay. Someone asked uh, why Pollux didn't have a. You gotta use the spotlight. How Pollux got his eye back in this game? Because in, in the older games he had one eye. Mm. And to that I say, uh, we had different artists, character artists, and I think we just didn't realize. Anyway, I love these. I love these gravity changing puzzles. Can you, make the, can you make the gravity sideways too? Uh, not yet. Not, 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 that's a later. Yeah, this is it. Oh no! Oh, that was it. Oh! Don't, don't holy. doubt him and his skills. No, you should go wake it up. Now you got to get out of there without dying. It's another. 
Can you share your challenge during the produ production of this game and the biggest... What was the biggest... I, I think it said, what, what are some of the challenges during this game? Uh, some of the biggest challenges during Nexus. It went perfect. There was no challenge. Um... I don't know. I mean, for us, we work on the UI, so like... Supporting 4-3. For, four, three for uh, yeah, supporting 4-3. Oh, you're supposed to go over the top. I think there's a gold bolt up there. Here's the one line. What one line contradicted what TJ said on Twitter? What did TJ say on Twitter that is contradicted in the game? Tim, do you know that you love reading my bad jokes? Yes, I do. I love them. They're so fun. LOL. Okay, so this is Strife. Okay, so bottom triggers. I'm going to get rid of this for a little bit. Do a new game based on the movie based on the game. I think the game has the best art style out of all the Ratchet games. I love this. Like, yeah. this game is completely underrated. And I don't know if it's underrated because it oh, got good reviews. It's down the hole. Yeah, I was, I just, was but I, I do love the dark, creepy uh, aspects of this game for sure, and the coloring. Where's the red? Oh. oh, hard disagree. Honestly, I don't want to be negative around these guys because they make a lot of really great games. What's the what the what do you disagree with? The art style of this game? Are you going to make Ratchet and Clank to reboot? Uh, we have nothing to discuss with regards to the future of Ratchet and Clank at this time. I love to keep watching the stream, but I gotta go to sleep. All right, Bat Batsion. Good night. Thanks for watching. What's your favorite battle royale game out there? I don't really play them much, but I would have to say Apex if I had to pick one. Uh, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers for me. <laughs> I would say battle PlayStation Battle Royale All Stars. <laughs> hey Thomas. Hmm. Do you have a butt for? No. Excuse me. <laughs> Please? In Indiana, they'd say, please? Pardon? Uh, a crack in time is the goat. The a crack in time is, was a good game. It was a good game. They're all really good games. I just, I don't know. This one has a different art style than crack in time. I you guys mean, made my childhood. No, I'm not so. Well... We didn't probably make all of your childhood, but the Insomnia games, we appreciate that. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Does that hurt you? Yeah, yeah. You, get, you only have like five health or something. He has ten health, but... Oh, oh, this part's awesome. Yeah. Push it, push it. <sighs> push it. You get, you got I it. got it. It was just not. It was not the right rhythm, but we got it. Untouchable robot. <laughs> Woo! So I guess that little crystal thing didn't hurt you. Cause I'm amazing. How often do you play Ratchet and Clank <clears throat> games? Uh, like now, since I don't know when we're actually when we worked on PS4 and Nexus daily, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but outside, I don't know. It's hard to say because when you work on them, you're always playing them. Uh, now that we're working on Stormland, I don't know. Do you play Ratchet? And Clank? I mean, we're playing I on play stream. I play at home. It's one of my favorite franchises. It's the reason I came to work at Insomniac. Save. Uh, after we made, so I got remade this one. I went back and like tried to hundred percent it as much as I could. I don't know if I platinumed it, but and then after making PS4, same. Like, did I miss any donations? Playing it every day at work and then going home and I did after the game's out playing through it again. Yeah. Finished product, seeing the whole thing. Bills with two dollars. Nice. Comment. Nice. Ratchet and Clank. Bills. Two bills. You're awesome. Actually, two one bills, bills gave one two dollars. <laughs> like Buffalo Bills? Maybe. Or maybe Dalla Dalla. <clears throat> oh, two bills. Like two dollars bills. I get it. Can you make a port for the PS2 of all the new games? Uh, yeah. I I, that's like up to Sony, but PS2 I guarantee you. I guarantee you, yeah, that's not going to be happening. How much money do you have? Couldn't make a PS2 version of the PS4 game. Oh, no. no hey, no. there's the Dev Diaries. Not Dev Diaries. The Vendra Diaries. Because she was a, a, a baby, a little, a little girl. Mm. And uh, these are her diaries she left behind. An audio journal. Audio journal. That's a great voice. Mm -hmm. This game is awesome. Will you port the future games to PS4? That is a question for Sony. That isn't something we do. Oh! Oh, 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 o
look that at the you, look at the Nasher and Raptors. Uh, or whatever they're called. Should be charged. Yeah, Actually, it's it's five thirty. So okay. Oh, that's, that's a good like, stopping point. You should Jose. jump off the cliff too. Uh, Jose, that was a perfect stopping point. Remember me. Remember me. By the way, we will be back tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thomas needs to tell a joke. Same bat he's game. Been, he's been, same bat game. Oh. Thomas has been setting me up for a joke all day. Oh, I have. Don't, don't. It's terrible. Don't egg him on. I didn't. No, I want. It, it was the, my fee for being on the stream today. Um. While you think about it, I'm going to do my spiel. Okay. Tomorrow, okay. we're going to be back at 4.30 Eastern, 1.30 Pacific. We're going to do the raffle tomorrow. So we're going to raffle off t-shirts, tumblers, backpacks, mouse pads, art books signed by the team. Uh, we'll do it again the following Friday, but tomorrow. So you donate at least a dollar. Buy tomorrow. Buy the, well, probably mid to end stream tomorrow. Anyway, do all that. Play live. You can do it after the stream. You can do it tonight. You can do it tomorrow morning. Um... We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to play more Nexus tomorrow. Uh, I think Herman's going to join us tomorrow. Sweet. Herman's like a legend yeah, in Herman's, the industry. He's Herman's done so many amazing. awesome things. I think his yeah. official title is Code Wizard. Code yeah. Wizard. He literally is a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. He's amazing. Um, anyway, maybe someone else will join us again. I think Billy was supposed to also. I'll if play he's, again. If he's not. Jose will be back. Yeah, See? sure. Uh, anyway, Tim, I'll have to tell you what TJ said next time. You can just put it in chat yeah. in Discord if you mm -hmm. want. Anyway, thanks for joining us today. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll do the raffle tomorrow. Thomas We're going to play more Ratchet Clank Nexus into the Nexus tomorrow. Thomas's joke. Thomas's joke. What's a uh, mummy's favorite genre of music? Rap. I, uh, yes, I, I had the answer, but I didn't like it. I had the answer as soon as you finished the sentence. Uh, Thomas. I apologize to everybody. Thomas. Jose, you can come tomorrow in place of Thomas. <laughs> you can. What, like that's like the same joke as what's what's a mummy's favorite lunch, a wrap. A wrap. What yeah. do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, that one's pretty good. All right. See, see you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.